Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in 10 minutes from my mark. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. That was your 10-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in five minutes from my mark. In five, 
four, three, two, one, mark. That was your five-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two minute time check stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations.
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, presented by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, delivering the funds the university needs to drive academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Also brought to you by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. High V, score big savings at HiVDeals.com. And by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Here's Rob Brooks. And welcome from the banks of the Wabash River in West Lafayette, Indiana. Welcome to a sold-out Mackey Arena as the Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team puts a 12-game winning streak on the line against the 9-5 Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue has not played a game since the 2nd of January. They were supposed to play last weekend at Maryland. That game got postponed just minutes before the contest due to a leaky roof. So Purdue came all the way back to West Lafayette. They had to uh, reschedule that game for the 14th. So have had uh, basically eight days to prepare for the Iowa Hawkeyes, who came in a little bit early this week. Has uh, uh, you all well know back home, and uh, we'll take a look at it later on tonight. More than likely, the uh, several inches of snow on the ground got out of town late on Monday and arrived at West Lafayette about 11 o'clock Eastern. And the Hawkeyes uh, went through a practice here at Mackey Arena yesterday, shot around today. So they actually been in this venue now for the third time. And uh, Coach Buter, as she'll mention the pregame show, feels like that's a little bit of an advantage in front of a sold-out crowd of 14,876 and has been customary on trips all year. The lines around the arenas have been quite impressive to see Caitlin Clark and this Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team coming off a 103-69 to victory against uh, Rutgers last Friday night where the Hawkeyes uh, were very impressive has got a really balanced scoring attack including a triple double from Caitlin Clark 29 points 10 rebounds and 10 assists just turned the ball over three times Iowa actually had 28 assists to just nine turnovers in that game and Caitlin Clark this week for the 24th time in her career was named Big Ten Women's Basketball Player of the Week. That is a new Big Ten record as she surpassed another Hawkeye great, Megan Gustafson. They were tied at 23. Remarkable that those two lead the way in Big Ten Players of the Week. Tiffany Reedy uh, not with me tonight. She will be back behind the microphone on Saturday night as the Hawkeyes will face Indiana. We're excited about this game. Purdue has been an up and down team this year. Kind of defines their nine and five record, but two and one in the conference. Uh, mentioned that last game on the second of January. They uh, defeated Rutgers in this building by a point at 77 to 76. Rutgers had an opportunity at the end to win that. Couldn't pull it off, and Purdue walked away with a one-point victory. So this uh, building can be tough to play, especially when it's full, as it is tonight. The band is um, right next to the Iowa bench, so it will be plenty loud, but the Hawkeyes are well prepared. We'll get the pregame comments from head coach Lisa Bluter all before tip-off. 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock on the East Coast. Iowa and Purdue, the only meeting these two teams have in the regular season. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. 
Drive to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Welcome back to Mackey Arena as we count down to off Iowa and Purdue and coach uh, we beat the the weather here got out of uh, Cedar Rapids airport on uh, Monday night and it was a good thing with what's happening back home everybody is um, doing okay and um, you're getting kind of used to this that's uh, that's two in a row now but uh, it seems like this was kind of just a, a normal routine just on the road yeah it did seem like that probably because we just did it like you said at Rutgers last week but it also helps that we're not in school right now you know we're on the on the break and so it's not like they're missing seen classes or anything and so it worked out really well and uh, Caitlin Clark of course uh, swept all the national awards after that triple double and for the 24th time was Big Ten player of the week a new record a new record took it away from Megan Gustafson uh, but uh, pretty cool that two Iowa players are number one and two in the all-time all Big Ten player of the weeks focus now on Purdue this is a, a team that uh, shoots quite a few threes and of course um, Layden's number one between her and Ellis they've shot 130 one combined, one shooting them much better than the other. Yeah, this is a team that shoots the three really well, especially like you said, Madison Layden shooting over 50% from three-point range in this building. So they're very confident playing in this building. They're undefeated in here, 8-0. No. Um, they're 2-1 and one in the conference, uh, but 8-0 and oh over uh, in, in this building. And so this is their first sellout of the year, um, and uh, I imagine they're going to be ready for this game, playing very confidently at home. How important, too, to pick up uh, Layden in transition should not let her get going. Exactly. She does does a great job in transition. We definitely need to find her. We have to go over top of all ball screens because she will shoot that ball screen three. Uh, very important. How about their inside game? Inside game is Caitlin Harper. Uh, only 6'2", uh, but she does a pretty good job in there. She can shoot open threes, which stretches out your defense a little bit. Uh, good rebounder, but in the last five games, she's shooting 64% from the field, so doing a really nice job inside. This is a team that uh, typically gets after you pretty well defensively too. Have they been playing um, well at that end this year? Um, they have. Um, you know, it's it's a team that's very experienced. They're starting four seniors and one freshman, so it's a very experienced ball club. Um, even at the point guard, Janae Terry, starting there for a number of years in a row now. These guys have played a lot of playing time. Um, but I think defensively they try to slow the ball down a little bit. They don't run quite the up-tempo that we run, and so that's kind of how their defensive numbers look even better is because they just don't play as many possessions as we do. Back with more from Coach Bluter after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hi, 
I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com. But you talked a little bit about the contrasting styles, uh, how important, and it's been successful to play uh, at your tempo tonight. It is. Um, you know, we can't let them slow us down. We don't want to play at their tempo. We know we're not going to be able to speed them up because we're not really a pressing team or anything. But when we get the ball in our hands, we're going to fly, and we're going to hope that we can wear them down. And sometimes it doesn't work the first quarter. Sometimes it takes till halftime or the three or third or fourth quarter before we can wear a team like this down. Well, they run a lot of plays. They run a lot of plays. This is a team that loves to run plays, and they'll run multiple screen actions. And so we might play a little bit of junk defense against them just because we won't have to play so many screens as we do when we're playing player to player. Outside of that, uh, what's important for the Hawkeyes tonight? Well, for us, uh, I, I think... Um for us, it's, it's ha handling those screens. It's really being a, doing a good job on playing all those screens, getting out and covering their threes, and especially in transition and against Madden, uh, Madison Layden. And they're going to trap our post and, and handling that trap off our post. Well, another terrific atmosphere uh, set up here at Mackey Arena, of course, sold out. Uh, but this team is a used to that and seems to thrive on it, so they'll be ready. We will be ready. Um, you know, we had the extra practice in here, which I think is to our advantage. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of used to playing in front of sold out crowds, even on the road, uh, but Purdue's really not. And so uh, maybe this will affect them in a weird way or, or heighten them a little bit. A good point, Coach, and let's go Hawks. Let's go. Head Coach Lisa Bluter on the pregame show. We'll be back with more after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. I think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. When the game goes into overtime... But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. 
Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's green power leaderboard with 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources? Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. Purdue starters being introduced. The Hawkeyes will go with Kate Martin averaging 12. Gabby Marshall, who hit four big three-pointers at Rutgers last Friday night. Hannah Stalky in the middle. Hawkeyes second leading score coming off of 10 and 7 at Rutgers. Molly Davis and, of course, Caitlin Clark in the backcourt. Purdue will counter with Janae Terry, the point guard. Mary Ashley Stevenson. Abby Ellis. Madison Layden, Purdue's best shooter for sure, averaging 11.5 a contest, shooting almost 50% from three this year, and Caitlin Harper. Molly's Cupcakes is proudly serving their cookies and treats inside Carver Hawkeye Arena for a taste of unique flavors you'll love. Stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, cakes, bars, and coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes, a proud supporter of your Iowa Hawkeyes. Before we tip it off, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Tonight's opening tip is brought to you by Farmers State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit, requires e-statements, direct deposit, member FDIC. Hawkeyes in the black traveling uniforms gold Iowa across the front and Stalky wins the tap against Stevenson and the Hawkeyes will have the first possession Purdue in the white home uniforms the black Purdue across the front Hawkeyes the basket to our left Stalky at the free throw line weaves her way to the basket has it blocked away by Harper dug up by Purdue Terry across the timeline on the right wing. Pulls up her dribble. Now hands off to Abby Ellis. Back to Terry in between the circles. She'll set things up. Ellis on the right wing. Hawkeyes in man-to-man -man defense as Purdue swings the ball from side to side with 12 to shoot. Here's Terry. Kicks it back. Three-pointer left wing is off the mark. And the Hawkeyes in transition. Down court pass. Clark finds Hannah Stalky who lays it up and in with the right hand. Hawkeyes go up two to nothing almost a minute into the game. Purdue in the front court. Here's Terry. Mid-range jumper left wing no. Ball bounced around and into the hands of Stevenson. She's on the left wing and Purdue will reset. Now Ellis out near the timeline. Molly Davis on her. As Coach Bluter told you, Purdue runs a lot of set plays with seven to shoot. Here's a pass back to Harper for three. Straightaway shot, no good. And Kate Martin gets the rebound. Passes ahead to Gabby Marshall. Free throw line extended left. Back to Kate Martin in between the circles. Plays catch with Gabby Marshall on the left wing. Now Clark gets it. Three-pointer drills it just left to the top of the key. Hawkeyes start two out of three from the floor. And on top, five to nothing. Here's Ellis, free throw line extended right, drives baseline. She's hung up by a couple of Hawkeye defenders, gets it to Layden. Now, here's Stevenson, 
at the free throw line. Takes one dribble on the right wing. Hands it back to Ellis. Ellis tries to get inside. Shot clock at seven. Baseline jumper is up and good by Stevenson. Hit that one from 15 feet on the right wing. Hawkeyes quickly down court. Here's Clark in the corner. Step back three pointer. Drills it from the left wing. Caitlin Clark, two for two from three. And the Hawkeyes go up eight to two. 7.35 left to go. Opening quarter. Here's Harper. Kicks it back. Ellis for three, and she banked it in from the right wing. Ellis shoots the second most threes for Purdue, but not with the efficiency that Layden does. Eight to five. Hawkeyes with the lead in the ball. Clark, three-pointer, ribbing no. Miss that one in between the circles. Long rebound taken down by Purdue. Purdue moving a little bit quicker. Harper on the left wing drives down toward the basket. And it's knocked out of bounds by the Hawkeyes' defense along the baseline. It'll be ball possession for the Haw for the uh, Boilermakers. Looking to get it in. They have to lob it out. Hawkeyes by three. Purdue with the basketball. Here's Ellis coming off a screen. Drives down the right side of the lane all the way. Lays it up and in off the window. Found a gap, found an opening, and took it. One-point game. Here is Clark coming off a screen in the paint. Turns, tried to get the ball to Gabby Marshall, and it's knocked away. Terry digs it up for the Boilermakers. Ahead to Ellis on the right wing. Davis comes out on her. She's behind the arc. Now Terry in between the circles. And now a bounce pass on a backdoor move. Ellis misses the layup, but a foul will be called on the Hawkeyes. Gabby Marshall picks up her first. That's the team's first. Marshall got out and played that passing lane on the left wing. And then Layden was able to get back door. And finds herself at the free throw line, and she puts it up and in her first point. 6-1 senior from Kokomo, Indiana. Second one also good. And Purdue grabs a one-point advantage. 9 to 8 Hawkeye sees some pressure. And an over and back is going to be called as Stalky took the ball right at the mid-court line against the pressure, then threw it backwards to Kate Martin, and that results in a turnover. And it will be Purdue basketball at half court. 6.25 left to go in the first. Purdue by one with the basketball. Here's Terry in between the circles. Sydney a falter into the ball game. And she does the job defensively against Layden. Turnaround jumper by 17 is up and good. Madison Layden has four. Hawkeyes quickly down court. Here's Martin. Bounce pass into Stalky. She's on the left block. Kicks it right side of Falter for three. Got it. Sydney a Falter from the right wing. And we're tied at 11. Sydney had a really good shoot around. Last 15 minutes or so, the Hawkeyes were just able to free shoot and was watching Sydney a Falter knock down many three pointers, especially from that right wing. Here's Harper. Gets it back out to Ellis in between the circles. She drives left side. Paint shot is up and no good off of Marshall. Ball tapped right back to Ellis. She goes up. Floater. Paint. Good. Abby Ellis. 5-6 from Australia. Averaging 14.6. Starts quickly with 8. It's Purdue by two. Here's Clark. Free throw line extended left. She sees a double team. Gets a pass right wing to Gabby Marshall for three. And swishes this one from the right wing. Gabby Marshall, who was four out of seven from three-point range at Rutgers. Her best percentage of the year so far. Drills her first attempt. And the Hawkeyes go up by one. Some contact on the right wing. No call. As Janae Terry has the basketball, pounds that left-handed dribble, then pulls up just inside the arc on the left wing. A long two is good. Scouting report on her as she likes to post up, put the ball on the floor, but obviously will shoot that long-range two. Sydney Fulter drives down the right side of the lane. Stoop shot is up and good. 
Sydney with five, coming off her first career double-double at Rutgers with 10 points and 10 rebounds. Hawkeyes by one. We approach four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Here's Terry. She'll fire another long-range two left wing. No. And Kate Martin corrals the rebound. Gets it to Caitlin Clark across the timeline. Right wing. Drives all the way to the hoop. Shot is up and good. Got it over two white jerseys. Clark with eight. Hawks by three. Long range three. Stevenson no good from the top of the key. Long rebound taken down by Clark across the timeline. Brings it herself. Pushes the ball to Gabby Marshall for three left wing. This went off the front of the iron. Kate Martin. Tough rebound underneath and a whistle. Stevenson will pick up her first and the team's first. And timeout on the court at Mackey. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all suite hotels. The Homewood Suites and the Home Two Suites by Hilton each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24 hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. 3 and 34 left to go in the first. Iowa 18, Purdue 15. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Welcome back to a sold-out Mackey Arena. And it is a rockin' for an 8 o'clock tip on a Wednesday night. No snow on the ground here at West Lafayette. A contrast to what we're dealing with back at the home front the state of Iowa hope uh, everybody has uh, stayed safe the last couple of days and at the shovels out and the snow blowers and at least uh, start to move around sounds like some more is coming it's that time of year I guess after an outstanding weather in December Purdue with the basketball on the right wing as Jones has come into the contest, Rashunda Jones, a 5'8 freshman, one of the top freshmen going in the Big Ten right now. And a shot from the elbow by Jones is no good, and it looks like it was partially blocked. Caitlin Clark says, I didn't touch it. But the referees are going to differ. With just four seconds left to go on the shot clock, Iowa by six. Get it in, and Layden has her baseline jump shot blocked away by Sharon Goodman. Now here's Clark in the front court. Tries to get a one-handed pass inside to Sydney Fulter in transition, and it's knocked away and out of bounds. Touch last by Purdue. Clark. 
Clark with 11 with three three-pointers. Here's a drive by Fierbach into the game, and she had it knocked away in the paint. And then Sharon Goodman going after a re-steal picks up her first. Just a little scrap on the floor with Caitlin Harper after she was able to get the ball away from Kylie Fierbach. 21 to 15. Hawkeyes on top. Here's Jones on the left wing for Purdue. They work that ball around the arc, and it's knocked away by Clark. Almost a steal, and it will be over to the Hawkeyes as after Clark knocked it away at midcourt, Jones touched it last before going out of bounds. Here's Clark in between the circles. Hands it off to Sydney Falter, and now a push is going to be called away for the ball in the paint. That'll be Madison Layden with her first. And it'll be Hawkeye basketball along the baseline. Clark looks, and then a bounce pass into Kate Martin on the right wing. Now to Kylie Fierbach in between the circles. Back to Kate, just right at the top of the key. Directs traffic. Now Fierbach free throw line extended left. Now a deep three. Clark off the back of the bracket. Missed that one right at the top of the key. And the rebound down to Purdue. Here's Jones along the baseline, trying to go behind her back, and it's stolen away by Kate Martin, who races past all the Boilermakers and lays it up and in with the right hand. Kate Martin just sprinted past four white jerseys like they were just standing still, and Kate took it in to get her first basket. 23-15. to 15. Jumper, paint, Jones is no good. She's the type of player always looking for her shot. Hawks with the rebound. Quickly down in the front court. Here is Clark. Gets it to Martin. Fires a three and drills it from the right wing. Right in front of the Purdue bench. A quick five for Kate Martin. And the Hawkeyes go up 26 to 15. Purdue 0 for their last three and have not scored in over three minutes and miss another jumper by Harper. Martin the rebound brings it into the front court hesitates drives down the right side of the lane lost control of the ball dug up by Purdue. Here's Ellis who started really hot in this ball game gets it to Jones her three pointer is good from the right baseline. She's fourth among Big Ten freshmen in scoring. We're under a minute, first quarter. 26-18, Hawkeyes. Clark tried to make a move. Dribbled the ball off her ankle, retrieved it. Got it to Sydney Falter, who drives the paint. Now kicks it left side, and a three-pointer is banked in by Kylie Fierbach from the left wing. So both teams have banked in a three. Ellis gets free for a three, right wing no. Goodman the rebound. And the Hawks will hold for the final shot in quarter number one on top, 29 to 18. Clark walks it across the timeline. Jones comes out on her. Clark with 11 in the quarter. Dribbles it out near the Katie Court sign. And the bumping foul will be called on Rashunda Jones, her first. Jean Katie, of course, the longtime, very successful men's basketball coach at Purdue. The court at Mackey, named after Jean Katie. And it will be Iowa with the basketball along the sideline with 5.4 left to go. Davis gets it in to Clark. To a falter for three left wing. No good as time expires after quarter number one. Good quarter for the Hawkeyes as Iowa finished the quarter on a 15-3 run, the final 4-25, and Purdue has gone ice cold from the floor, just one of their last eight. Hawkeye fans, quick star. Want you to know that you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any quick star location fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88 and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packs throughout the season quick star proud partner of Hawkeye women's basketball 
We'll head to the second quarter. Iowa on top, 29 to 18. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Our mission at Opnall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn and we're proud of it because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Hawkeyes led for seven minutes and 34 seconds in the first quarter, just 102 for Purdue. Purdue has seven turnovers, Iowa just two, and the Hawkeyes have received eight points off the bench. That's been uh, Sidney Falter with five, and Kylie Furbach, a three-pointer. As Purdue has the basketball, their first possession in quarter number two, Hawkeyes on top by 11. Here's Jayla Smith into the game for the first time. Has the ball on the right wing. Now gets it inside. Stevenson at the free throw line. Puts up a wild shot. And Sydney Fulter going up for the block is going to be called for the foul. So that's her first. Team's first in the quarter. Kind of bailed her out that time. Sydney felt like she had all basketball. Stevenson at the free throw line. Does have that 15 foot range. So certainly willing to take that shot. And knocks down the first free throw. Had seven points and six rebounds against Rutgers. Leads Big Ten freshman in rebounding. Makes the second. 6 2 freshman. And full court pressure for Purdue. Hawkeyes by nine with the basketball. Davis jogs it across the timeline. One handed pass to Sydney of Falter. Now Marshall free throw on extended right. Now to Clark. Cross court pass left wing to Molly Davis. Deep in the corner with 12 to shoot. Now she hands it off to Clark. Clark weaves her way into the paint and traveling to be called on Caitlin Clark. Tried to penetrate the paint and then get a pass to the right wing. And just shuffled her feet. Purdue basketball. Janae Terry back into the game. Hands it to Stevenson. Now here's Jayla Smith on the left wing. Now to Stevenson at the elbow. Drives down the left side. Lost control of it. Hawkeyes doubled her. Clark digs it up. Down court pass to Gabby Marshall. Right wing. Bounce pass into Hannah Stalky. Back to Martin. And now to Marshall as her mid-range jumper is no good from the right wing. And quickly down court is Ellis for Purdue. Stops in the paint, gets it back out. Janae Terry knocks down a 17-foot jumper. Terry with four and eight and ten boards against Rutgers. 5'11", fifth-year player from Detroit. 29-22, Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball just underway second quarter. Here's Davis. One hand pass to Marshall. Now back to Davis. Now to Clark on the left wing. Bounce pass behind her. Back to Hannah Stockey on the left block and lays it up and in. Beautiful execution that time by Caitlin Clark. Got into the paint about 10 feet away behind the back pass. 
dropped it into Hannah Stalke on the block. 31-22. Buckeyes on top, Purdue with the ball. Working it around the arc. Here's Ellis, comes off a screen, gets into the paint, goes up with the left-handed layup, and finishes, and she is fouled. Molly Davis with a trip. She's got her foot tangled up with Abby Ellis, who has nine. Mila Reynolds, 6'3", sophomore into the game for Purdue, a transfer from Maryland. Free throw, good. Ellis, the first player to reach double digits for Purdue with 10. And it's 31-25. Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. 7.38 left to go second quarter. Here's Stalky, high post area. Kicks it left wing to Martin. Now in the corner. Molly Davis, three-pointer. Knocks it in. Molly Davis, a swish from the left baseline. That's her first basket. Hawks have been hot from three-point range. Purdue quickly down the court, but now will set up their half-court offense. Like to play deliberate for the most part as they go down in deep to Stevenson on the right block and she lays it in off the window, has six. Hawkeyes quickly down court. Marshall drops it into Stalky. She's outside the paint, drives the paint, goes up along the baseline and scores. Good quick move to her left shoulder by Hannah Stalky, who has six. 36-27 and a whistle away from the ball. And Stalky is knocked down in the paint. As a turnover will be called on Purdue. So it'll be Hawkeye basketball. 6.44 left to go. Second quarter. Clark walks it across the timeline. Hawkeyes by nine. Gets it to Stalky outside the arc. Down the corner to Molly Davis. Gets a quick pass to Martin, who can't drop down the three-pointer from the left wing. But a long rebound comes down to the Hawkeyes. And Clark finds Kate Martin dashing toward the basket. Layup good. Good eye contact between Clark and Kate Martin. And able to finish the layup. Give Clark the assist. 38-27, Hawkeyes with the lead, Purdue with the ball. Here's a three-pointer by Reynolds that is up and no good. Rebound taken down by Stalky underneath the hoop. Ahead to Clark. One-handed pass into the corner by Clark to Marshall. She saved it, but into the hands of the Boilermakers. Now on the fast break attempt, and a shot is up by Layden underneath the basket no good and had it swatted away by Stalky at the last second and the ball goes out of bounds over to Purdue Goodman comes in and a Stalky will sit down it'll be ball possession for the Boilermakers Hawkeyes 38 Purdue 27 Hawkeyes four for the last five from the floor here is a short jumper it is up and good by Janae Terry. Hit that one from 15, and she's knocked down three long twos so far today. Here's Clark at the high post area. She's doubled, gets by both, now gets it into the corner. Gabby Marshall for three, rimming no, and going after the rebound is Sharon Goodman, and she is fouled. Mila Reynolds picks up her first. It'll be ball possession for the Hawkeyes along the baseline. Clark looks to throw it in. Gets it in to Kate Martin. Goes up strong in between two defenders as she caught it in deep and is fouled. And Reynolds, just like that, picks up her second. And that'll get Kate Martin to the free throw line. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the U.S. Sailor wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Free throw is good. Second one for Martin in the air. Got it. 
Tate with nine points coming off of 17 and seven boards at Rutgers. She's been in double figures, nine of her last 11. 40-29, Hawkeyes by 11. 5-17 left to go, second quarter. Hawks and Purdue from Mackey, Iowa leads the series 45-33. Here's Janae Terry on the right wing. Drives to the free throw line. Jumper is up and good. Got the roll on that one. She has eight, and here's a steal by Smith off the inbounds play, and she scores off a nice assist from Abby Ellis. Jayla Smith, her first basket, and that gets the crowd into it, 40-33. Hawks with the lead in the basketball. Lob pass for Sharon Goodman is knocked away as there was three Purdue defenders underneath. And we've got timeout on the court with 4.38 left to go, second quarter. Set up the best zone defense from home. Heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace. Seal up drafts around your home. And visit MidAmericanEnergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. Buck fans, Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley-oop, every buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment as well with trusted Health coverage committed to making health care better. You can learn more at willmark.com slash hoops. Purdue has outscored the Hawkeyes in the second, 15 to 11. 4.38 left to go until halftime. Iowa 40, Purdue 33. The Boilermakers three of their last three from the floor. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Rob Brooks back at Mackey Arena as the Hawkeyes lead the Boilermakers 40 to 33, 438 left to go, second quarter. Hocknall's mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through Life Care, a not-for-profit life plan community serving the Iowa City community for 57 years. Hocknall is conveniently located near the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, and, of course, Carver Hawkeye Arena, downtown Iowa City as well. A proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Visit Hocknall.com to learn more. Hawkeye basketball along the baseline. Clark to throw it in. Does so to Sydney of Falter. She's on the right wing. Takes a couple of dribbles and hands it back to Clark. Whips a pass to Marshall in between the circles. Now to a Falter right wing. Still outside the arc with three to shoot. And now to Martin. She recognizes and drops in a three-pointer that rims out. Missed that one from the right wing. Purdue quickly down court. Layden open three. No from the left wing. She's not been open very often. Clark down court pass to Martin. And she's underneath the hoop. Lays it up and in. Nice rebound by Goodman. Got it to Caitlin Clark. And then Kate Martin beat everybody down the floor. She has 11. Clark has 11 as well. And it's 42-33. Inside, Reynolds, spin move, goes up strong in the paint and is fouled by Sharon Goodman. 
That'll be her second, team's third. As Stalky comes back in for the Hawkeyes, as does Kylie Fearbach. Jayla Smith, six foot junior from Indianapolis, back for the Boilermakers. So Reynolds, a transfer from Maryland at the free throw line, connects on the first. Purdue on the season, shooting free throws efficiently at 76%. Second one perfect. And it's 42-35. Hawkeyes on top. Purdue's only led for a minute and two seconds. Hawkeyes 8 out of 14 from three-point range. Clark across the timeline, in between the circles, out by the big Purdue P at midcourt. Pulls up her dribble just right at the top of the key. Hands it off to Kate Martin. Kate now a bounce pass to Clark on the left wing. Caitlin's doubled. Tries to go baseline. Lost control of the ball and out of bounds. Good defense by the Boilermakers. Janae Terry walks the ball across the timeline for Purdue. Keeps that right-handed dribble going in between the circles. Angles right side. Clark comes out on her. Terry picks up her dribble. Can't find anybody. Now tries to get a pass toward the basket to a cutting Jayla Smith. The ball is knocked away by the Hawkeyes. And Purdue will retain possession along the baseline. Terry will throw it in. Slaps the basketball. And now gets it in to Smith, who tries to make a move in the paint and had it knocked away by Sydney Falter. Kicks it to Clark. Transition three, left wing, no. Hannah Stalky skies for the rebound and grabs it. Then gets it to Kylie Fierbach. Now to Kate Martin. Out behind the arc. Now to Clark on the right wing. Free throw line extended. She'll fire another three-pointer and drill this one right in front of the Purdue bench. 14 for Caitlin Clark coming off a triple-double. 45-35, the Hawks extend that lead to 10. Now coming off a screen, Ellis long two. No good, left to the top of the key. Martin the rebound, gets it ahead to Clark, driving down the right side. Scoops it inside to Hannah Stalky, who goes up. Had it swatted away by Abby Ellis. Ellis across the timeline, stolen away by Fearbach. Bodies go after the basketball, dug up by Kate Martin. Flips it off to Sydney Falter, who will... Hand off to Caitlin Clark. Called play by Lisa Bluter. Clark comes to the left wing. Whips a pass inside to Stalky. Goes up left hand after a fake and scores on the left block. Good effective play that time to get it into Hannah Stalky on the left block. Faked like she was going to go toward the middle of the paint, then went baseline and laid it up and in with the left hand. Hannah with eight at the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. And she is a little bit strong on the free throw, but a lane violation will be called on Janae Terry of Purdue. Another opportunity for Hannah Stalky at the line. Purdue does not have a field goal the last 253. Stalky's free throw, this one's still strong, but a falter gets the rebound, goes up strong, and lays it in over the front of the rim. A falter with seven, and timeout taken by Katie Geralds, the third year Purdue head coach. Hawkeyes did a four-point play that last possession. The Stalky layup and then the uh, Fulter rebound and layup. Sydney has seven. And the Hawkeyes go up 49-35 on a 7-0 run in the last 54 seconds. Hawks have connected on three of their last three from the field. Seven players have scored for the Hawkeyes. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Purdue with the basketball across the timeline. 
Here's Terry. Hands it off to Abby Ellis. Now Jones on the right wing. Goes to the free throw line, slips into the paint, pulls up her dribble 13 feet away, hands it to Ellis, tries to make a spin move paint, lost control of the ball, and a foul, unfortunately, will be called on the Hawkeyes. Sydney of Falter will pick it up. Really good defense there, just going after the ball, got on the floor. That's a tough break for the falter, who actually had a better opportunity for the loose ball than did Purdue. But the Boilermakers get it in along the baseline. Here's Layden. Talks to done a great job defensively on her. Swing the ball to Terry. Now inside Harper and traveling will be called on Purdue. Boilermakers tried to work a little inside-outside game. In the paint and on the right wing and traveling the call. Hawkeye basketball on top, 49-35. 112 left to go until halftime. Three-pointer, Clark right at the top of the key, no. And Anna Stalky goes after the rebound, tried to tip it to herself. Dug up by Layden, who gets it ahead to Jones and has it blocked by Caitlin Clark. Stalky down there as well. Ball goes out of bounds, and Purdue will still have plenty left on the shot clock as we are under a minute, second quarter. Here's Ellis coming off a screen, gets into the paint. Shot is up, no good. Contested nicely by Hannah Stalky. Gets the rebound ahead to Marshall. Cross-court pass to Kylie Fearbach on the left wing. Now cross-court to Marshall. Toward the corner, now... Gets it out to Kate Martin on the right wing. Now to Clark in the corner. Tries to make a move, spins, and then tries to flip a pass inside to Hannah Stalky. And it's knocked out of bounds by Purdue. Iowa basketball. 49-35, left to go in the second. Iowa will throw it in along the baseline. Clark has it. Looks inside and the bounce pass attempt to Martin knocked away, but dug up by Marshall and back to Kate on the right wing. She goes toward the basket, floater, paint, no, and a foul on the rebound against Tana Stolke. That'll be her first and the team's fifth. As Molly Davis back for the Hawkeyes. And it will be free throws for Purdue. Madison Layden. Jayla Smith comes back for the Boilermakers. Won the national title back in 1999. 79th meeting between these two teams. Free throw good. Madison Layden has five. 49-36. Second one also good. A little bit of pressure in the backcourt, but now Clark gets the ball. And Smith gives her room as Caitlin crosses the timeline with 14 seconds. Shot clock off. Hawks will hold for the final shot, second quarter. Clark out near the timeline and then fires up a three-pointer and buries it and is fouled will they count the shot we heard the whistle then clark went up with it very close to half court now the officials will get together and no shot allowed So they'll say the foul came before the shot. 5.6 left to go. Martin gets it to Clark. Drives paint. Scoop shot up. No contact and a whistle. And this will go against Purdue. Abby Ellis picks up her first with 1.7 left to go. Clark at the free throw line.
can hear the displeasure of the Purdue fans on that foul call. Clark's first, got it. Caitlin with 15. Second free throw in the air, rattles it in. 51-37, Hawkeyes with 1.7 left to go. Purdue will have to go the full length. They get it into Ellis in the backcourt, three-quarters court shot is on the way, and just left of the iron. So that'll do it for the first 20 minutes of basketball. Clark with 16, Kate Martin with 11. Iowa 51, Purdue 37. Bud Light Halftime Show up next. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, nice. which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Iowa. With just days to go before we caucus, Nikki Haley is showing her true colors. Here's what Wall Street funded Nikki Haley just said in New Hampshire. You know Iowa starts it. You know that you correct it. Haley disparages the caucuses and insults you. You know Iowa starts it. You know that you correct it. Nikki Haley has made it clear she doesn't trust you. But you know what? It's Nikki Haley that can't be trusted because she's not a true conservative and she won't represent our shared Iowa values. Donald Trump is running on his issues. Nikki Haley is running on her donors' issues. I'm running on your issues. It is Ron DeSantis who embodies and defends our values of faith, family, and freedom. And he's got the support of some important Iowans to show it. Governor Kim Reynolds, Bob Vanderplatz, 42 state legislators, 120 county chairs, over 120 Iowa faith leaders and dozens of Iowa sheriffs, they all back Ron DeSantis. Join them and caucus for Ron DeSantis on January 15th. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I approve this message. Paid for by Ron DeSantis for president. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. High V, score big savings with the new High V Perks membership. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. And by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Now back to courtside. Hawkeyes 51 and Purdue 37. Purdue did not score a field goal for almost five minutes, 4.55 to be exact. Oh, for their last five. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, proud supporter of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. It's time for our Halftime Stats Report brought to you by Hy-V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free Hy-V Perks membership. First off for the Hawkeyes, 
Iowa was 19 of 31 from the floor, 61.3%. Shot threes at a really good clip, 9 of 18, 50%, 4 out of 5 from the free throw line. Caitlin Clark leads the way with 16 on 5 of 9 from the floor. Kate Martin adds 11 and 5 rebounds. Hannah Stalky, 8, 4 out of 5 from the floor, also 3 rebounds. Kate Martin also has um, four defensive rebounds and one offensive board. Clark with 16 has three rebounds, seven assists. Gabby Marshall a three-pointer for three. Sydney Falter has seven on three for four from the floor, two rebounds. Three for Kylie Fearbach on a three-pointer from the left wing. And Sharon Goodman played four minutes and 59 seconds and had Three rebounds and an assist. Hawkeyes with 12 assists, nine turnovers. For Purdue, Abby Ellis leading the way with 10. Six for Mary Ashley Stevenson. Caitlin Harper uh, did not score and uh, no rebounds in her 16 minutes and six seconds. Janae Terry with eight on four of six from the floor. Madison Layden. One of the top three-point shooters in the conference. Hawks have done a terrific job on her. She has six points, four out of four from the free throw line, and one out of four from the floor. Rashonda Jones has three. Jayla Smith has a basket. And Mila Reynolds has two free throws for two points. Purdue not shooting the ball well, 13 of 31. 41.9%, 2 out of 9 from 3-point range, 22.2%, but 9 out of 9 from the free throw line that have kept them in the game. Hawkeyes led after 1, 29 to 18. The Hawkeyes outscored Purdue 22 to 19 in the second, lead the game 51-37. Hawks have led for 17-34, Purdue for 102. Hawkeyes big lead. At 14 at the 202 mark of the second quarter. Purdue led by three in the first quarter with 616 left to go. That's our High V stats recap with Iowa leading 51-37. We are at the half on the Bud Light halftime show. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com.
This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Hawkeyes at 15 and 1, 4 and 0 in the Big Ten, winners of 12 in a row. Lead Purdue at the half, 51 to 37. Let's check uh, some scores around the Big Ten. Just two other games in women's basketball, uh, both in the fourth quarter. Right now, uh, number 14, Indiana, has a 70 to 63 lead over Penn State. Of course, Indiana will be in Iowa City on Saturday. 117 left to go in that game. And with 5.19 left to go in the fourth, a tight one as uh, Northwestern and Wisconsin going at it. Wildcats lead it 66 to 64. Other games around the country, top 25, it is number 12, Kansas State who have split with the Hawkeyes this season. Kansas State 72, Oklahoma 57. Under a minute left to go in the fourth. Kansas leads to number four, Baylor. 59-43 late in the third. Iowa State uh, down to West Virginia. West Virginia in the top 25. It is now West Virginia 55, Iowa State 46 late in the third. Number 10, Texas 34, TCU 26 at the half. And later on tonight, it's number 25, UNLV, over. And we'll take on San Jose State, uh, the running Rebels at 12 and 1. Two finals, Creighton over Butler 89-53. And number 13, UConn 85, Providence 41. Both teams back out on the court. Iowa 51, Purdue 37. This is Iowa Hawkeye wins basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fanofcorn. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Welcome back to a sold-out Mackey Arena, West Lafayette, Indiana. West Lafayette, uh, no snow on the ground. Did rain uh, yesterday. Temperature in the high 30s. 14,876. But they can pack into this building. Great atmosphere for Big Ten basketball. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win tickets to see sold-out Iowa women's basketball with the Countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold scratch tickets today. If you or someone 
you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawkeyes with 20 points in the paint. Purdue with 12. Hawkeyes with 12 second chance points. Purdue only four. Iowa with six fast break points. Purdue none. Hawkeyes done a great job getting back in transition defense. Ten points off the Iowa bench. Seven for Purdue. Iowa 51, Purdue 37. Third quarter action next. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hey, Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The Collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. And the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. Rob Brooks back at Mackey Arena as we are set for third quarter action. Hawkeyes will have the basketball first. Thanks so much for joining us along the Hawkeye Radio Network, the Hawkeye YouTube channel, Varsity app, and Sirius XM. Here is Clark on the right wing behind the three-point arc. Now to Martin in that same area. Cross-court pass to Davis. She fakes. Curls a pass to Marshall. Eight to shoot. Now back to Martin as she drives down the left side of the lane and has it knocked away, but gathered by Stalky. Then she has it blocked by Caitlin Harper. And then a foul in transition. That'll be Kate Martin with her first. Hawkeyes had two good looks there. But credit Purdue defensively. 51-37. Hawks with the lead. Purdue with the basketball. Layden to Ellis. Now here's Janae Terry. Kicks it back out to Harper, who drills a three from the left wing. Caitlin Harper. That's her first basket. And she pulled Hannah Stalky out. Along the three-point arc, Clark drives down the paint. Her shot is up and too strong off the window. Stalky gets the rebound, gets it back out to Clark. And then Hannah Stalky going to be called for a push. As Clark had the ball on the right wing. That's the second on Stalky, who had eight points in the first two quarters. Buckeyes by 11. Purdue with the basketball just underway, third quarter. Here's Janae Terry in between the circles. Pounds that right-handed dribble. Now fakes left, gets into the paint, and trying to get a pass along the baseline to a cutting Abby Ellis, who couldn't connect, and the ball goes out of bounds over to the Hawkeyes. Marshall gets it in to Clark in the backcourt. 
Caitlin will walk it across the timeline. Angle right side now. Cross court pass to Molly Davis into the corner to Caitlin Clark who faces the hoop and splashes home a three pointer. Clark with 19, her first basket in the third. 54 40. Hawks go back up by 14. Purdue in the front court. Here's Stevenson. Lobs a pass inside, intended for Harper, knocked away by Stalky into the hands of Kate Martin. Now here's Clark at the top of the key. Dribbles, trying to find some space, and now kicks it left side to Martin. Now back to Clark. Now back to Kate Martin, drives in, and her floater poked away and out of bounds. Touch last by Purdue. Good execution by Martin and Caitlin Clark. This Purdue was able to knock it away and out of bounds. Off the inbounds play. Stalky gets it, goes up, has it blocked, as does Kate Martin. Here's Terry in transition, drops it off for Ellis. Her shot is up and good, but traveling will be called before the shot went up. Trying to plead her case to no avail. And here come the Hawkeyes. Clark in the front court. On top, 54-40. Gets into the paint, kicks it right side. Gabby Marshall for three, rimming no. Rebound taken down by Madison Layden. Gets it ahead to Terry on the right wing. Now to Harper. Fakes a three. Gets it to Ellis. Uses a screen. Gets all the way to the hoop. This time scores off the window and is fouled. Marshall will pick up her second. A falter comes in for Molly Davis. And Ellis at the line to try to complete the three-point play. She has 12. Free throw up and good. This is now 14 games in double figures for Abby Ellis. 54-43. Buckeyes go in deep. Again, to Stalky as she goes up and has it blocked away and out of bounds. Coach Booter, you might have heard, called for the pump fake. That's three tip balls, blocked shots here in the quarter by Purdue. Clark gets it in to Stalky on the right block. Kicks it out to Marshall. Now to Martin. Back inside to Stalky. Kicks it left side. Sydney a falter for three. Drills it from the left wing. Boy, she was ready to shoot that. Caught it in rhythm. 57-43. Hawkeyes on top. Purdue with the ball. Get it inside to Harper. On the left block, she turns toward the middle. Layup good. Caitlin Harper averaging 10.2. She has five. Both baskets coming in the quarter. Hawks quickly down court. 57-45. Iowa with the lead and the basketball. In the corner, Martin. Now Marshall. Free throw line extended right. Now to Martin. Ball tipped to a Folter. Gets it. Runner. Pate goes window with it and scores. Sydney a Folter with 12. And we're four minutes into the quarter. 59-45, Hawkeyes with the lead. Terry gets it to Ellis on the left wing. Dribbles between her legs. Goes toward the baseline. Now back to Terry. Plays catch. Ellis, quick jumper. Left wing, no good. Missed it from three. And the ball dug up by Stalky to Clark. Gets it into the front court in between the circles. She faces a double team. Tries to get it inside to Stalky. Saved it. Tipped it to Martin in the corner. She fakes, drives, baseline, goes up strong, and couldn't finish. But a foul will be called on Purdue. That'll go against Caitlin Harper, her first. And it'll be two free throws for Kate Martin. 5.33 left to go. Third quarter, 59-45. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Kate Martin drills the first and gets the second to go as well. 13 for Kate. 
And that's now 10 of her last 12 games in double figures. 61-45. 5.25 left to go in the third quarter. Here is Harper for three, right wing no. And the ball dug up by Clark along the baseline. Aitland keeps that right-handed dribble going across the timeline in between the circles. Fakes right, goes left, pulls up three, pointer, swish! Right in front of the Hawkeye bench. 22 for Clark. And Purdue calls a 30-second timeout. As Iowa goes up 64 to 45. Is your small business ready for a big promotion to support and celebrate small businesses? United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the Spotlight on Small Business Sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotions, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. 5.08 left to go in the third. Hawkeyes 64, Boilermakers 45, Hawks on a 7-0 run the last 104. This is Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's Green Power Leaderboard? With 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time, on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Hawks have made their last three field goal attempts and have outscored Purdue here in the third, 13 to 8. 508 left to go in the quarter, 64-45 Hawkeyes. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Out of the timeout, Purdue basketball. Right to the left in front of us. Jayla Smith into the game for Purdue. Stevenson has the ball 17 feet away on the right wing. Hands it to Ellis, coming off a screen. Now kicks it right side to Smith, three. No good. A falter. Another big game for Sydney. has the rebound. Here's Clark across the timeline. Sees an opening, drives down the right side of the lane. The shot is short. Missed the layup. Purdue with the rebound. Smith pulls up left wing from 17 and drills it. Jayla Smith, six foot junior. And then the Hawkeyes answer quickly with a Gabby Marshall three pointer from the left wing. That's Gabby's second three. Hawkeyes three pointer in transition to go up 67 47, a 20 point advantage. Here's Smith. Eyes a three, right side, no. Long rebound taken down by Harper. Has it in between the circles. Now to Smith. Dribbling on the right wing. Bounce pass to Stevenson. And the ball tipped away from her and a whistle. That'll go against Kate Martin, her second. As the Hawkeyes will get a couple players in the game. Molly Davis and... Kylie Fierbach as we 
experience another timeout on the court with 3.57 left to go. University of Iowa Energy Collaborative is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Hawkeye women's basketball this season, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Learn more at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. 3 and 57 left to go in the third. Hawkeyes by 20, 67, 47. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% .9 reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. What does it mean to be locally owned and operated? For Cenex, it means everything. It means that we know if you take your coffee to go or if you like to stay a while. It means we've helped Little Leagues get jerseys and local festivals get funding. It means we know what our communities need. So you'll always leave Cenex with a full tank, full of snacks, or full of smiles, or all of the above. And that means the world to us. Cenex, powered locally. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Hawkeyes continue to shoot the basketball well from the floor, four out of five. For that timeout. As now for the entire game, Iowa... 54.5%, 24 of 44, 13 of 23 from three. That's great to see. 56.5% and six out of seven from the free throw line. Purdue basketball along the baseline in their front court. Mob pass out to Ellis. Hands it off to Smith. Racing toward the basket goes up strong and finishes with a left hand over Molly Davis. She's kind of an instant offense when she comes in. Jayla Smith with six. Lead cut to 18. Here's Sydney of Fulter. Dribbles to the right wing. Inside Goodman makes a nice move and goes to the left hand toward the middle of the lane for her first basket. Nice patient move by Sharon Goodman. 17-foot jump shot is up and good as Stevenson faced the basket just a couple of feet from the elbow. She has eight, and it's 69 to 51. Sydney Fulter on the right wing. Now to Kylie Fierbach. Fulter now gets through to the left side and gets the ball inside to Sharon Goodman who goes to work on the left block for her second consecutive hoop. Goodman with four. Remember she had eight quick in the first half against Rutgers and it's 71-51. The Hawks back up by 20. 234 left to go in the third quarter. Harper clears for three. Right wing no. As Kate Martin gets the rebound. Takes a couple of dribbles. Gets it to Fierbach. She crosses the timeline on the left wing. Kylie at the top of the key. Feeds Molly Davis. Drives baseline. And then had the ball tipped away. She tried to find Goodman underneath. Here's Ellis in transition. Some fancy dribbling as she gets into the paint. Now back out to Bladen. Down the corner to Smith. Drives baseline. Layup no. Gets her own rebound. Spins paint. Shot short. That's an air ball. And a Fulter comes away with a rebound. Clark back in the game. Next dead ball. Here's Martin. Gets it to Fierbach. Free throw line extended left. Drives baseline. Goes up strong. And a foul will be called against Purdue. 
Ellis with the blocking foul, her second. As Clark returns for Kate Martin, Kylie Fearbach at the free throw line. Working together is how you win. That's why Mid American Energy's roster of wind, solar, and other energy sources work together to keep your service safe and reliable 24 7. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. First free throw by Fearbach Good. Second one, perfect. That's five for Kylie, who knocked down a three pointer in the first half. She is now. 16 of 20 from the free throw line this year. 73-51, under two, third quarter. Hawks have broke this game open after leading 51-37 at the half. Here's Harper on the right wing. Finds Jones along the baseline. Her shot is up and no good. And Caitlin Clark grabs the rebound. Hawkeyes are not in a huge hurry here. With 125 left to go in the third as Clark gets in the paint, pulls up her dribble, gets a pass to Fearbach on the left side, and a 30-second timeout taken by the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark uh, frustrated. Feels like she's being bumped and held. But the Hawkeyes get the 30-second timeout with 16 left on the shot clock, 121 left to go in the third quarter Iowa on top 73 51 Dodge Street Tire and Auto locally owned and operated and voted best of the area for the 10th consecutive year proudly supports Iowa women's basketball trust Dodge Street Tire for honest auto repair and the best deals on Goodyear and Toyo tires Dodge Street Tire and Auto celebrating over 30 Good years on the corner of Dodge and Church Streets. We're going to call a technical foul against Caitlin Clark. So it'll be free throws for Purdue's Madison Layden. First one good. That's her first point in the third quarter. Second one, a rimming no. Slipped off the left side of the iron. And it'll be ball possession for Purdue. Seventy-three fifty-two. Hawkeyes on top, Boilermakers with the basketball. Harper at the elbow. Faces the basket, takes a couple of dribbles, and then tries to get it to Swanson now into the game. And she pulls up from 17. No. Clark goes after the rebound and gets it away from a couple of Purdue players. Swanson uh, really looks to score coming in off the bench. A long range three by Clark left to the top of the key. No. Rebound taken down by Purdue. Layden into the front court. Brings it to the top of the key, now to the elbow. Now right side, Stevenson inside the arc. Hands it off to Jones, who tries to make a move in the paint. Knocked away by Fearbach and Goodman and Harper on the floor. Tie-up situation. Possession arrow favors Purdue. It'll be Purdue basketball along the baseline. They get it in on the right wing with 30 seconds left to go. Coming off the screen. Jumper no good. Swanson from 17. Clark the rebound. 73-52. That's seven boards for Clark as she brings the ball across the timeline. It will hold it out near midcourt. Hawkeyes can use the final ticks of the clock. Here in the third quarter, here's Clark on the right wing, hesitates and makes her way toward the right block and a foul will be called on Purdue. Jones, her second team's third. And it'll be ball possession for the Hawkeyes along the baseline with 3.2 remaining. 
Clark looks, gets it into the corner. Molly Davis eyes a three off the left side of the iron, and that will do it. Davis had a good look deep in the left corner right in front of the Iowa bench, just couldn't connect as she hit a three-pointer back in the first half. We'll head to the fourth. Iowa in control, 73-52 over the Boilermakers. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. You know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, nice. which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. We'll head to the fourth quarter, 73-52. Hawkeyes in command looking for victory number 13. Have you or your partner been considering a vasectomy? If you enjoy watching basketball from the comfort of your own home, March, certainly a great time to schedule. The expert urologists at UI Healthcare specialize in both standard and minimally invasive vasectomy procedures. Learn more by scheduling a consultation. This March, get benched and recover in front of your TV. Schedule your appointment now. You can call 1-800-777-8442 or visit uihc.org slash appointment. Buckeyes with the basketball. Gabby Marshall deep in the right corner. One hand bounce pass to Kate Martin as she brings it in between the circles. Now left side, Marshall. Gets it to Clark, who couldn't control the pass. It was thrown a little bit behind her on the right wing and goes out of bounds over to Purdue. 73-52, just underway, fourth quarter. Purdue with the basketball. Davis knocks a pass away, and Hannah Stalky and Stevenson go after it on the left wing. That'll be a tie-up situation that will favor Purdue. Janae Terry back for the Boilermakers. Purdue has won 499 games in this building. 500 will certainly be tough for the Hawkeyes. A big lead. Here's Terry, mid-range jumper. Left wing is good. Terry's first basket since the first half has 10. 73-54, one minute into the fourth quarter. Here's Kate Martin deep in the right corner. Lob pass out to Molly Davis in between the circles. Now Clark gets it into the corner. Gabby Marshall for three. Got it. Three threes for Gabby Marshall. As she was four out of seven against Rutgers. 17-foot jump shot just off the elbow by Stevenson. No good. Hawkeyes get the rebound quickly down court. Here's Clark in the corner. 
Now out to Marshall, just left to the top of the key. Right wing, Molly Davis, 76-54 Hawkeyes. Kate Martin in between the circles. Right side, Marshall. They come out on her. Now lob pass toward Molly Davis, and she goes up, and a collision, and a Purdue foul. Had a cross-court pass toward the left block. Madison Layden, her second team's first. Clark has the ball, will throw it in along the baseline, looks inside, now fires it out right wing to Molly Davis. Almost two minutes into the fourth quarter. Now to Clark, left wing, that's an air ball three-pointer. And Stalky tried to save it from going out of bounds. Couldn't do it. Ball over to the Boilermakers. Janae Terry across the timeline. Gets it back from Smith in between the circles. Now left side Stevenson. Drops it inside to Ellis. She has to pull it back out to the left side. Now sends a pass down to the right block. Smith tried to get a shot up. Couldn't. Now back out to Terry. Bounce pass inside. Harper left-handed layup. Good and a foul. Good ball movement that time from left to right. And then right back to the left side by Purdue. Stalky her third. Free throws for Caitlin Harper. 6-3 in her sixth year. All seven of her points have come since halftime. 76-56, Hawkeyes on top. Harper at the free throw line. Goodman back in the game for the Hawkeyes. Free throw is up. Good. Harper, who has hit a three-pointer, has 98 career of them. As Gabby Marshall fires a three-pointer right wing, no. Skipped off the left side of the rim, and a foul on the rebound will be called on Kate Martin. That's Kate's third. And Purdue has the ball in the front court with Janae Terry. In between the circles. Gets it to Stevenson. Just off the elbow. Flips a pass to Ellis. Three-pointer right at the top of the key. No. Rebound underneath to Martin. To Davis. To Marshall. To Clark. For three. Left side. No good. Rattled around and spun out. Harper the rebound. Gets it ahead to Ellis. Ellis now drives. Paint. Scoop shot. No. And a foul will be called on the Hawkeyes. Marshall's third with 7.01 left to go in the fourth. Iowa 76, Purdue 57. So Ellis at the free throw line. She's been the most active offensive player with the most success for Purdue. Makes the first, has 14. Second one in the air, got it. Ellis had 10 at the half. Fearbach for Marshall, change for the Hawkeyes, facing full court pressure. A falter also into the game, gets it to Goodman. Bounce pass to Clark, who lost control of it, as dug up by Ellis. Ellis gets it to Terry, left wing jumper from 17, no. Long rebound taken by Purdue. Here's Smith, gets it back to Harper, three-pointer left to the top of the key. No good rebound taken down by Caitlin Clark, who will take her time crossing the timeline with 6.30 left to go. Drives down the right side of the lane, scoop shot, no. Hits the deck, and a foul will be called on Purdue. Harper picks up her second, free throws for Clark, who has 22 at 16 at the half. Hawks have not scored for the last two minutes and 17 seconds. Kate Martin back for Molly Davis. Clark with eight assists and seven rebounds and makes the first free throw.
Caitlin second, perfect. 78-59, 6.30 left to go in the ballgame. Hawkeyes and the Hoosiers from Carver Hawkeye Arena, 7 o'clock on Saturday night. Be great to be back inside Carver. Here's Ellis in between the circles, wheels to the right side, now kicks it back to Harper for three. Drills this one right at the top of the key. 99 career threes for Caitlin Harper. Steps out, able to make those. Here is Kate Martindine. Drives down the right side of the lane. Pump fake at the block and goes up strong off the window. Kate Martin with 15. Hawks by 18. And Harper again for three. Right side, no. Nice box out and rebound by Clark. Brings it across the timeline to the top of the key. Angles right side. Whips a pass inside to Sharon Goodman. And Sharon is fouled. A hold will be called on Caitlin Harper. Sharon was ready for that one. There's that pass. One-handed variety across the lane. Madison Layden, who has sister McKenna on the team. Hawks get it in. Here's Fearbach, top of the key, three, a little bit strong, into the hands of Jayla Smith. Smith brings it into the front court on the left wing, hands it back to Layden, who fires an open three-pointer, and that's good from the left wing. Can't give her any space, the Hawkeyes did at that time. 80-65. Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball, approaching five. Here's Clark all the way down the lane. Nobody there defensively and lays it up and in. Good recognition by Clark just to take it all the way to the glass. Purdue in the front court working the ball around the arc. Here's Janae Terry, right side, drives toward the baseline, pulls up her dribble, kicks it to Smith. Now to Terry. Long range, two short off the right side of the rim. Missed it from the right wing. Clark, another rebound. Caitlin brings it across the timeline. Hawks on top, 82-65. Clark, now to a falter left wing. Inside, Goodman goes up, double team, and a foul will be called on Purdue. Good quick move toward the baseline by Sharon Goodman from the left block. Today, Terry will pick up the foul. And Sharon Goodman will get two free throws when we come back. 4.27 left to go in the ballgame. Hawkeyes 82, Boilermakers 65. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Hawk fans throughout the season, join head coach Lisa Bluter for Hawk Talk, presented by Oak Doll at the Hyatt Regency in Coralville. Hawk Talk with Coach Bluter and myself takes place every week, 6 until 7. You can visit HawkeyeSports.com to take a look at the full schedule. Certainly welcome everybody to come out tomorrow night. We uh, couldn't do it Monday because of the weather. The Hawkeyes trying to get out of town, so we're scheduled for tomorrow night. Six until seven. Lisa Bluter for Hawk Talk at the Hyatt Regency in Coralville. 
You could also earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online with Farmers State Bank. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit, requires e-statements and direct deposit, member FDIC. Buckeyes have outscored Purdue in the fourth, 13 to nine. Lead it 82 to 65. Buckeyes have put up 30 three-pointers tonight. 14 of 30, so almost 47 percent. Hawks shooting almost 53 percent for the contest. Sharon Goodman at the free throw line connects on the first. Sharon with five after she was fouled going up for a shot on the left block. Second one also good. So Sharon has 14 points in the last two games after eight at Rutgers. Hawkeyes have only missed one free throw all night. 84-65. 4.15 left to go. And Purdue throws it away, trying to get the ball to Layden on the left wing, dug up by Gabby Marshall. Quickly hands it off to Caitlin Clark in the front court. Now back to Marshall. Martin takes one dribble, rolls a pass inside to Stalky, Had to go toward the baseline to get it and gets it back out to Clark. 12 to shoot. We're under four. Here's Caitlin on the right side. Now Stokey, high post area. Back to Clark. Back to Stalky. Layup good. Beautiful give and go from the left side of the paint to the right side. And Hannah Stalky into double figures with 10. She had 10 and 7 at Rutgers. Here's Smith. Reverses the ball to Layden. Free throw line extended left. Bounce pass to Stevenson in the paint. She turns off Hannah Stalky. Left hand shot no. And Clark gets the rebound. Caitlin down court to Marshall for three rimming. Yes! Got the friendly bounce. Did Gabby Marshall? Right in front of the Iowa bench. Timeout, Purdue. Gabby Marshall notches her fourth three of the ball game. Just as many as she connected on at Rutgers. 89-65. Hawkeyes with 313 left to go. 9-0 run for Iowa, the last 154. Hawkeyes have made their last three from the field. Purdue on a scoring drought over two minutes. Hawkeyes now 15 of 31 from three. Marshall four out of eight. Clark with a triple double again. Now has 10 rebounds and 10 assists with that one to Marshall. And a whistle in the front court for Purdue. Layden, a foul after a steal by the Hawkeyes. That occurred right around the free throw line. It'll be Iowa basketball on top, 89 to 65. Approaching three left to go in the game. Another triple-double for Clark. That's back-to-back. -back. And she has the ball. Three-pointer in the air. Just short top of the key. Fulter gets the rebound. Has it slapped away by Ellis. Down court to Smith. She fires a 15-footer left wing and scores. That one rattled around and dropped in for Jayla Smith. Eight off the bench for the Boilermakers. 89-67. Here's Marshall out near the hash mark. Now a Fulter making a move, and she is fouled. Receiving a pass from Kate Martin at the elbow. 
And the Hawks will get four new players in. That'll do it for Clark tonight with 26, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. At 29, 10, and 10 at Rutgers. So after the Purdue foul, a falter at the free throw line with 12. Hawkeyes at the line, 12 of 13. So McCabe in, Molly Davis. Free throw good. Sydney also has six rebounds and four assists. Connects on another free throw. So she will sit down with 14. Really nice evening for her. Fierbach will come in. So it's Jim Fee Fierbach, Davis, McCabe, and Addie O'Grady. 91 67. 218 left to go. Purdue with the basketball in the front court. Inside to Harper. She makes a move and is fouled by Eddie O'Grady. Harper's been very active in the third and fourth quarters as at 11. Her first is in the air, got it. Hard worker. Without the ball, trying to get herself in position and makes a second free throw and will come out of the game for Mila Reynolds. Transfer from Maryland who played in the first half and there is a kick by Stevenson as Jimphy tried to get it in. 91-69. Okay's put 103 on Rutgers. Now Davis will throw it into Jim Fee. And Jada's double teamed. Lobs a pass to Molly Davis. In the backcourt. Brings it across the timeline. Angles right side. Two minutes exactly left to go. Jim Fee. Free throw line extended left. Lob pass inside to O'Grady. And a whistle before the ball got there. As Stevenson picks up her third. And Addie O'Grady at the free throw line. Addie floats it up. A little bit strong off the back of the iron. No good. Addie's second. Perfect. That's her first point. She had five points at Rutgers last Friday. As McKenna Layden, sister of Madison, comes in. Also, Elena Harper, 6'3 sophomore, has sister Caitlin on the team. So, two sets of sisters on the Boilermakers roster. Open their season in a tough way at UCLA this year. UCLA, a very good team. They lost that one 92 to 49. As Reynolds gets the field goal. And she has four, 92-71. Hawkeyes bring it into the front court. Here's Jim Fee, just right of the top of the key. Now to McCabe, free throw line extended right. Comes off a screen, gets in the paint. Taylor now left side, Jim Fee. Looks inside, now drives baseline. And an up and under move, a little bit wild. But Fierbach the rebound and gets the pass to Molly Davis with two to shoot. Kicks it back out, Jim Fee for three. A little bit strong as the shot clock expired, but a long rebound. Fierbach drops it inside to O'Grady as Eddie has three. 94-71. Pull-up jumper right wing for Jones. Bounced on the iron a couple times. No. And McCabe, the rebound, brings it herself in the front court. Free throw line extended right. Lob pass inside. Addie O'Grady. Boy, that's an easy look. And Addie has five. Piling up the stats here in the final minute of the game for Addie O'Grady. 35 seconds left to go, 96-71. Hawks will win their 16th of the year. 
Bounce pass to Reynolds. Turnaround jumper paint. No. Jim feed the rebound. And the Hawks can hold for the final possession. And Kanish Johnson won't get into the game. Molly Davis will just dribble this one out near the timeline. And the Hawks are going to win it. 96 to 71. The only regular season meeting against Purdue. And that's now 13 in a row for the Hawkeyes. 96 71. The Hawkeyes over the Boilermakers. This one never in doubt as the Hawkeyes basically led wire to wire in this contest. For Purdue, only led for a minute and two seconds. Clark with a triple-double. 26 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. And there were others tonight as well. Stay tuned for the postgame show from Mackey as we recap this Iowa victory. Hawkeyes now 16 and 1, 5 and 0 in the conference, and that 13 game winning streak continues. Hawks 96, Boilermakers 71. That's the final from West Lafayette. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The Collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, nice. which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Also by United Healthcare, proud sponsors of Small Business Spotlight. Sign up your small business at hawkeyesports.com backslash UHC. Once again, here's Rob Brooks. All Hawkeyes tonight, 96 to 71. As Hawkeyes take care of the Purdue Boilermakers, uh, led 29 to 18 after one. 
51 37 at the half and then 73 52 at the end of three all results in a 96 to 71 victory Hawkeyes now 16 and 1 and 5 and 0 oh, and this is the uh, the best start ever for coach uh, Lisa Bluter and the Hawkeyes are off to their fifth 16 and 1 start in program history and they do it in front of a sold out Mackey Arena crowd as Caitlin Clark kind of making her way over to the Hawkeye fans right behind the Iowa bench of course her family made the trip as they did at uh, Rutgers last weekend the final numbers tonight as Caitlin Clark has that triple double with 26 points 10 rebounds and 10 assists joined by Kate Martin who had 15 Gabby Marshall with 12 Anna Stalky with 11 the bench was terrific for Iowa tonight as Sydney uh, Falter led the way with 14 points had seven in the first two quarters and that's coming off uh, 10 and 10 a uh, double double her first career double double against Rutgers Kylie Fearbach had uh, five points she's now made 16 of 20 free throws on the season Sharon Goodman six points in the third and fourth quarters and Addie O'Grady had a late five for Purdue had three players in double figures as Abby Ellis certainly the most active Boilermaker tonight had 15 Caitlin Harper with 13 Madison Layden boy the Hawkeyes kept her in check and need to because uh, one of the top three-point shooters in the country percentage-wise had 10 averaging 11.5 Mary Ashley Stevenson had eight and Janae Terry let me correct myself that's four players in double figures as Terry did slip into double figures with 10 Layden with 10 Harper with 13 and um, Abby Ellis with 15 off the bench Jayla Smith had eight Mila Reynolds four and Rashonda Jones had three Hawkeyes uh, shot the ball terrific tonight 33 of 62 for 53.2 percent 15 of 33 from three 45.5 percent and then did the job at the free throw line 15 of 17 88.2 percent for Purdue 25 of 62 for 40.3 percent just five out of 20 from three-point range 25 percent 16 of 17 from the free throw line 94 percent Purdue has shot 34.5 percent from three-point range this season so Boilermakers had uh, won three in a row coming into tonight's contest and had a four-game winning streak late November into December but the Hawkeyes take care of business tonight Iowa now 16 and 1 5 and 0 oh. Purdue falls to 9 and 6 and two and two in Big Ten conference play. We'll be back with more from Mackey Arena as Iowa defeats Purdue 96 to 71. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. 
What does it mean to be locally owned and operated? For Cenex, it means everything. It means that we know if you take your coffee to go or if you like to stay a while. It means we've helped Little Leagues get jerseys and local festivals get funding. It means we know what our communities need. So you'll always leave Cenex with a full tank, full of snacks, or full of smiles, or all of the above. And that means the world to us. Cenex, powered locally. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's Green Power Leaderboard? With 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative. NG North America is now offering part-time, on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Caitlin Clark leads the way with her triple-double. That's now back-to-back -back triple doubles. Of course, had 29, 10, and 10 at Rutgers. And um, tonight uh, puts uh, 26 on the board with... Um, 10 assists and also um, 10 rebounds as we uh, get set to head to the locker room and uh, coach Jan Jensen uh, joins me and coach um, boy what a terrific effort and you had to really um, love the start as uh, Purdue only led for a minute 20. Hey yeah. hey Ben are you there, Jim? Is, is Bailey out there? Will you tell him that Rod's not responding to my text? We're uh, trying to connect to uh, Coach Jensen. Jen, you there? He, well, he's he's on, but I, I can't hear him. Okay, so we're trying to uh, connect um, with uh, Coach Jensen um, down in the Iowa locker room, and obviously I'll ask um, him if he wants me to come having up. a little um, connection trouble, and hopefully uh, Coach Jensen will make her way up here. So that's uh, what we'll do. So Coach Jensen will join me here on the post-game show uh, from just. Um, near courtside I tried to um, get uh, the locker room connection uh, set up and obviously could only go one way so we'll get uh, coach Jensen uh, back up here for her comments on the post game show and then we'll also hear from uh, coach Bluter and um, a player from the locker room we were going through um, Caitlin Clark and uh, her superlatives from tonight as um, back to back triple doubles and uh, the 15th of her career now in that category and then you couple that with um, 51 uh, career double doubles and is now number nine on the Big Ten's all-time list as she leads all Big Ten active players of course in uh, career double doubles and had to face um, a double team most of the time tonight and certainly uh, led to getting into double figures as far as assists and did a solid job shooting the three-pointer and also um, did a terrific job as usual on the boards to start the Hawkeyes transition game. We'll get to our post-game interview, interviews as Jan Jensen uh, is uh, making her way up a couple of flights of stairs and uh, we'll get uh, the headset on her. Boy, sometimes that darn technology just doesn't work I out know, real well, it does looks, it? It was all you people listening at home. It was so slick. There's this little uh, headset, little it was uh, all set up like in the hallway of Mackie. So we were thinking we were pretty, pretty snazzy. <laughs> well, we'll have to wait till Whoa. next time, huh? <laughs> if, if, I wanted you to get a second workout today. I tell you what, that's right. We saw each other in the workout room, and that that was a little run down the hall, <laughs> up these flights of stairs. But I did it. Of course, oh. never a doubt. That's right, that's right. 
Well, Jan, the, the impressive thing, uh, this team, of course, um, you know, came out early on Monday, had an extra practice here, but uh, has handled it so well. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, hey, ready to go when we need to go. And, yeah. and what a great start. Has Purdue only led for a minute and 20 seconds? Yeah, I was, I mean, you know, the... <laughs> they did a great job because we had to fly out early and when you don't have any studying right like everybody in the workforce it's be like oh great you're on the road early you know huh? it'd be great to have a break right well they're not studying they're out of the routine and it's kind of rainy and cold here and there's not a whole lot to do where we were staying so it's kind of a out of your routine. It's longer. Um, and you don't want them just sitting in the no, hotel room all day, no. right? So they did walk around and so forth. But, you know, you just hope that's what your team is going to do is respond to that. And then this environment was obviously sensational. Man, the band is so incredible, so good, so loud. And for those of you listening that haven't been here, they are 10 meters from where we sit and they even have a microphone which abby stamp was saying we think that should be illegal because <laughs> you can hear them all it, the oh way up gosh, here it is next level loud i mean it's great it's not why you would not perform well or not or you know you got to handle it but part of that is them our team handling it coming out and um you know just staying pretty pretty steady so, you know, the target gets bigger and bigger on your back, and you just got to know you're going to take everybody's best shots. And I thought we did a really, really nice job tonight. And I think um, a kid off the bench was Sid Alforger. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came in and just handled, you know, we ran some junk defense. We ran our, our player, and she was always guarding one of the top two kids and really just had a great great game and she had the highest plus minus to show for it yeah and coming off a double double plus yep. has uh, 14 points <laughs> and that spectacular yep. defense it was great and then um you know, other bench play too kylie came on yep. and, and hit a three-pointer yep. uh, sharon was uh, really good in the third yeah, quarter there made really, a really nice yeah. move i was really happy with that i think uh, sharon has kind of waned on her confidence a little bit as of late um, and this year, you know, we're a little bit different. We're not looking for that inside bucket as much as we have in the past, you know, eight to nine years. Um, so they got a little bit of a different role. Um, but obviously when they do have their shots, we want them to hit them, right? So I think sometimes, you know, with any kid, whether it's uh, you're coming off the bench and you're a guard or you're uh, inside kid, you know, if you get 15 shots, you know, you miss a couple, you got a few more to go. But if you only get a couple shots a game that don't go so well, it can start messing with your mind a bit. So I was really thrilled. Uh, we're going to need Sharon against, you know, especially a McKenzie Holmes who will play Indiana on, on Saturday. So I, I really thought it was a great team effort. I mean, you look at the balance of the scoring and, of course, the way Caitlin played, um, you know, with her tri triple double. Um, you know, she lost it a little bit emotionally, but I'm telling you, she gets hammered and she has to handle better i know there will be some detractors and you're frustrated that you know she got so hot but she uh, the some of the things we see on film you know you just get to a point and then when you don't get a call you can lose it but i was happy with she really came she came back and settled and um and then was still able to you know get a triple double and so i was i think there was some Good moments there with an unfortunate situation. Too. And shot over 33s, but a really high percentage. How about Gabby Marshall again? Yeah, I know. And I think, you know, Gabby is like, everybody talks about that. I think sometimes a little too much. We just believe in her so much. And my belief is she's going to start getting hot and need it when we need it most. She's been there. Uh, she's seasoned. So, you know, hopefully that's going to be the, you know, more consistent as, as we go. But we're, we're not worried about it. We're just so happy for her when they do go in because she's such a doggone good shooter. And then you talk about the defense and the rebounding. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, just never really looked like uh, Purdue get run their half-court stuff. Yeah, I, I thought we, we did a pretty good job keeping them off kilter. Um, we went in between our zones and our, our player to uh, player. Um, and, we, you know, we answered, you know, when we, we had a couple times where we got, did some mistakes, you know, we turned it over and got pretty loud in here. Uh, they cut it to seven, I think, and it is in the second quarter, but then we settled. What did we go in? 14, 16 points up in the at yeah, halftime. 51-37. And yep. so we, um, you know, we handled that, and I think that gave us confidence, even though, you know, we didn't like to turn it over against their, their uh, kind of a, wasn't even a really great press at that moment. I think we just got a little lackadaisical with it. But all of that, I think we handled it, and we never let them get in their rhythm. And 
um, we fouled a little bit too much. And if we wouldn't have fouled and got them to the free throw line because they're excellent three point shooter or uh, free throw shooters. So um, those are things we'll go back and we'll learn from from the film. But I tell you what, anytime you get a win on the road, you're going to take it. And I thought for the most part, we did a lot of really great things tonight and played well. Yeah, significant road win. And uh, now it's going to be nice. Can we get back to Carver? I know. That's what, that's what Caitlin said when we were talking to the locker room. <laughs> she said, it seems like it's in forever. So we're uh, very excited to, to be back. And, um, you know, it's going to be a really, really great game because I think I don't I haven't really looked at the standings, but I know Indiana hasn't lost and we haven't lost. So up and they won tonight. Yep. So it'll be, a, you know, pretty exciting environment and we're, we're going to have to bring it. Could you talk about scores? They got they got five that can really, really score behind the arc because McKenzie Holmes can, you know, hit a trail trail three really well. Um, so we're going to have a work cut out for us. They are too. So it's going to be a heck of a big 10 matchup and man, our crowds have been there. So, so great. And we're going to need you again and again. So thanks for all the support. We had a lot of great, you know, Hawk fans here. Sure did. They were spattered around. They couldn't be as loud, but I saw a lot of Hawk jerseys and uh, it was just really, really, really nice. So if anybody's listening or when they listen to it again, you know, this is recorded, right? Can people listen oh, sure. to it? Yeah. Absolutely. So if you do, I thank you all for here that, that came. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you guys on Saturday. And thank you for coming up. You better believe it. <laughs> all right. Okay, take care and God bless and go Hawks. And special hello to my friends and family in Southwest Iowa. Associate Head Coach Jan Jensen on the postgame show after the Hawkeyes take care of Purdue at 96 to 71. Before we go any further tonight, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Hawks win it after a triple-double by Caitlin Clark with 26-10-10 and 96-71. Back with more postgame from Mackey after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. True cannabis products like concentrates, vapes, tablets, creams are available legally in Iowa, but only at licensed medical dispensaries. Get a med card online, quick and easy. I got mine in less than a day. Chronic pain is the most common condition. Search for Bud and Mary's online or call their dispensary to learn how you can get your med card. Bud and Mary's grows real cannabis, not hemp. That means their products contain real THC with no percentage limits. Find an Iowa licensed dispensary near you at BudMary.com.
This is the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Welcome back to Mackey Arena. After the Hawkeyes get victory number 16 on the air, 96 to 71. Let's head to the press room and get Lisa Bluter's opening comments. All right, um, glad to come in here and get a, a good win against the team that was undefeated on their home court coming into this. So uh, we feel good about that. I love that we had five people in double figures. Uh, Kalen again has a triple-double. Um, I thought Sida Folter came in and did a really good job off the bench. Gabby shot the three really well. Uh, I thought we boarded well, high assists, so it was a nice all-around game for us. Kaylin, I know that you guys have gone on the road over the years and won a lot of big games, and this team has a ton of experience, but for this group to conquer this challenge, come in here, unfriendly place, dialed in from the beginning, how big is that for you know the rest of this season as this group tries to get where it wants to be when you're going on? I think it's huge, and I think, you know, whenever we go on the road, it's going to be an intense crowd, and that adds a little bit to the game. Um, you know, that's a whole other factor that you kind of have to deal with, so... Uh, like you said, I think our group is, is experienced. Um. All right. You know, the rest of this season. A little bit to the game. Um, you know, that's a whole other factor that you kind of have to deal with. So, uh, like you said, I think our group is, is experienced. Um, there are some girls that have been in the environment, but maybe haven't been on the court. So that's a little bit, a little bit different. But. Um, I think it's something we're going to face in the Big Ten the rest of the year. So um, it, it was a great win for us. I don't think the crowd really affected us at all. Um, they were great, uh, good for Purdue. I'm happy for them. Uh, the fans really showed out. Um, but I think our group was, was really mature, and um, you know we never let that affect us from, from the jump. And um, just a good win for our group, yeah. Kayla, here like everywhere, when you go out before the game, you know, they're holding mm -hmm. you know, the little girls holding banners after the game. They're, mm -hmm. What does that come to mean to you, and and what is it like to have that everywhere you go? It's it's honestly hard for myself to wrap my head around. It's it's I don't know. It's crazy. Like it's crazy the way people scream my name and, and really support us. And um, yeah, I mean I try to make time for as many of them as I can. Like whenever I walk off the court after we win, it's so special just the way people scream our names and are so excited for our team. And that's something that just never gets old. And I was that same kid a few years ago. So it's crazy how time flies. And uh, just try to soak it in every single moment because, you know, no matter what, I mean, there's a ton of Purdue fans, but there's also a lot of Iowa fans and people supporting our team, and, you know, that's super cool, so you've got to enjoy those moments. Hey, Caitlin, how do you compartmentalize all the atmosphere, all the screaming, everything that just flies mm -hmm. in your face uh, just from, from the fans? How do, you, how do you do that and still maintain such a balance, mental balance on the court? Yeah, I think like, you know, I come into every game pretty calm, like the environments don't really bother me that much. And I think that just speaks to, you know, this is my fourth year in college. I think the story may be a little bit different if it's my, you know, second year. And I think I just have enough experience in these games, but also this isn't an, an, isn't an individual sport. I have four other people on the court with me at the same time. I have 10 other girls on the bench and, um, you know, I know some nights are not going to be my night and I have to rely on them no matter what. And. Um, we can still win basketball games that way. I don't have to score a million points every single night, and I think I just find peace in that. And um, when I'm having fun, just you know, being Caitlin, that's when things are really successful for myself and for my team. So uh, I just try to go out there and have fun and, and be me. Uh, Lisa, let's start right here. Hi. Um, talk about your inside game tonight. I know Clark, Mark, yeah, you got to deal with that if you're, you're an opponent anyway. But your inside game, I thought was really strong tonight, and it was good to see O'Grady uh, make some late baskets there too. And I, I thought Sharon Goodman came in and did a nice job as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like we've got a lot of different looks at our five position that we can use, and I think that's kind of nice to have different styles you can use depending on who comes into the game. Uh, we definitely have a lot of fouls to give in that position, and uh, that position can pick them up pretty quickly. So, um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer in our inside game. I, I love the way that Hannah runs the floor and rebounds and gets up in the air. That from head coach Lisa Bluter and also Caitlin Clark after her triple-double tonight, 26, 10, and 10. Hawkeyes 76, Boilermakers 71. We'll listen in on some of the top plays and wrap things up for Mackey after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free 
confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Around here, Jack Frost nips more than just your nose. That's why the Midwest gets Honda. Dependable, all-wheel drive, with heated steering wheel and seats to keep Jack Frost off your seat, nice. which will make it very happy. And since it's no fun to gas up in this weather, isn't it cool that Honda has such legendary fuel efficiency? New Hondas are arriving, but so is Mr. Frost. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. What does it mean to be locally owned and operated? For Cenex, it means everything. It means that we know if you take your coffee to go or if you like to stay a while. It means we've helped Little Leagues get jerseys and local festivals get funding. It means we know what our communities need. So you'll always leave Cenex with a full tank, full of snacks, or full of smiles. Or all of the above. And that means the world to us. Cenex. Powered locally. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. And tonight's stat recap brought to you by Hy-Vee. Score big savings with the all-new totally free Hy-Vee Perks membership. 96-71, the Hawkeyes over Purdue. Let's listen in on some of tonight's top plays. Back to Kate Martin in between the circles. Plays catch with Gabby Marshall on the left wing. Now Clark gets it. Three-pointer drills it just left to the top of the key. Hawkeyes start two out of three from the floor. And on top, five to nothing. Hands it back to Ellis. Ellis tries to get inside. Shot clock at seven. Baseline jumper is up and good by Stevenson. Hit that one from 15 feet on the right wing. Hawkeyes quickly down court. Here's Clark in the corner. Step back three-pointer. Drills it from the left wing. Here's Davis. One-hand pass to Marshall. Now back to Davis. Out of Clark on the left wing. Bounce pass behind her. Back to Hannah Stalky on the left block and lays it up and in. Here's Stalky, high post area. Kicks it left wing to Martin, now in the corner. Molly Davis, three-pointer, knocks it in. Molly Davis, a swish from the left baseline. Now to Kate Martin, out behind the arc. Now to Clark on the right wing, free throw line extended. She'll fire another three-pointer and drill this one right in front of the Purdue bench. Angle right side, now cross-court pass. To Molly Davis into the corner to Caitlin Clark, who faces the hoop and splashes home a three pointer. And the ball dug up by Clark along the baseline. Caitlin keeps that right handed dribble going across the timeline in between the circles. Fakes right, goes left, pulls up three pointer, swish right in front of the Hawkeye bench. Here's Kate Martin deep in the right corner. Lob pass out. To Molly Davis in between the circles. Now Clark gets it into the corner. Gabby Marshall for three. Got it. Here's Caitlin on the right side. Now Stokey, high post area. Back to Clark. Back to Stokey. Layup good. Beautiful give and go from the left side of the paint to the right side. And Hannah Stokey into double figures with 10. And Clark gets the rebound. Caitlin down court to Marshall for three. Rimming. Yes. Got the friendly bounce, did Gabby Marshall, right in front of the Iowa bench. Timeout, Purdue. Boy, did she ever. That one uh, hung on the rim a couple of times and uh, finally went in for Gabby Marshall. Great to see her get back on track with um, 
12 points, four three-pointers. And as Coach Bluter said, really happy with how many players in double figures. Clark leads the way with 26, 10, and 10. Sid uh, Folter off the bench with 14, 15 from Kate Martin, 12, Marshall, 10, Stalky. All results in a 96-71 victory. Iowa over Purdue as uh, the Hawkeyes basically led this one from start to finish. Purdue just led for a minute 20. So Iowa now 16 and 1, 5 and 0, winners of 13 in a row. Thanks so much for joining us tonight from Purdue. Don't forget Hawk Talk with Coach Bluter tomorrow from the Hyatt Regency in Coralville from 6 until 7. And then our next game broadcast will be Saturday night, Iowa and Indiana at 7. We'll be on the air at 645. Rob Brooks, once again, the final score, Iowa 96, Purdue 71 from Mackey. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. This has been the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Hawkeye women's basketball has been brought to you by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Authentic brand. Elevate your everyday style with a premium label of choice. High V. Score big savings at HyVDeals.com. And by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.